Welcome to 1.11's Math Moment. At 1.11, students learn how to estimate sums and differences to determine if their answers are reasonable or not. For example, what we do today in class, we have students use the benchmarks of 0, 1 half, or 1 whole to estimate either the sum or the difference. We know sum means to add, and difference is to subtract. And then we also need to find the actual sum or difference in these problems. So our first problem says 17 twentieths minus 1 half. The first thing we have to do is we have to find our estimate. So looking at 17 twentieths, I need to decide, is that closer to 0, 1 half, or 1 whole? Well, I know 17 twentieths is not close to 0. Is it close to a half? Well, I know half of 20 is about 10, and that's 7 away. And I already can think of it goes to 1 whole. Well, 17 twentieths, that's only 3 away to make it a whole. So 17 twentieths would actually round up to being 1 whole. So I'm going to write down 1 for this number right here. I'm going to write down my subtraction sign. And then 1 half. This one's really easy because we have to round to 0, 1 half, or 1 whole. We know 1 half is closest to 1 half. If I take 1 minus 1 half, my answer is 1 half. So our estimate would be about 1 half. When I go ahead and find the difference, my answer should be close to about 1 half. So to solve this question, I'm going to take 17 twentieths minus 1 half. I see a shortcut. I know that 2 times something gives me 20. 2 times 10 gives me 20. If I do it to the bottom, I have to do it to the top. 1 times 10 is 10. If I take 17 twentieths minus 10 twentieths, I get 7 twentieths. If I take this over to my answer, 7 twentieths is the difference. Is my answer reasonable? Well, I know that about half of 20 is 10. So yeah, my answer is reasonable. When I estimated, I got about a half. So this answer makes sense. The next question says, tell whether the answer is reasonable or unreasonable and explain how you decide it. Well, this question doesn't even ask us to find the answer. We have to decide is it reasonable or unreasonable and then explain how we decide it. Looking at this question, I'm gonna start off with my whole numbers. I see I've got seven and one third and eight and one half. If I take seven, plus 8, I know that I get 15. Without even going to my fractions, I can see this is off from 5 of my whole number. So I already know my answer. That's too far away. My answer is not reasonable. How I did this just now is I used simple addition to add my whole numbers. So to explain how I did this, I would write, I added my whole numbers. and found it was five away from the answer. Using the strategy of estimation, we can see that that's too far away and our answer is not reasonable. If you have any questions on 1.11, talk to your teacher. Good luck on your homework.